just seems like Disney's list of failures are endless and non-stop. Their financial failures, I mean, it just every time you have something about their, you just look at Disney finances, just news about that, it's never been good. Nothing good at all comes out of that uh, little facet. And it's just another addition to that list. It says here on a giant freaking robot, Disney looks to continue dismal box office year with another flop. Wow, what a surprise. I mean, they just have flop after flop after flop. And I've already covered that before, don't need to mention it again. But it says in the article, we're still two days away from Disney's next big movie hitting the theaters, but we've looked into the future and it doesn't look good for Disney's Haunted Mansion. In fact, according to the critics who've already uploaded their thoughts to the Rotten Tomatoes database, Disney's latest attempt to entertain cinema goers is almost guaranteed to be a total flop. According to the consensus, despite being a talented cast of A-list actors, the Haunted Mansion reboot isn't scary or funny. Directed by Justin Simeon and written by Katie Dippold, Haunted Mansion is the second film to come out of Disney Studios based on the Disney Parks ride of the same name. It's a reboot of the story originally told 20 years ago, starring Eddie Murphy, uh, Marsha Tomlinson, and Jennifer Tilly. Basically, they've, he's, you know, one of the actors is uh, pretty well known but you know it's like just another addition to the list of failures continuing on in the article the new movie stars uh lakeith stanfield tiffany haddish owen wilson daniel levito sorry danny devito i think that's how you say it uh rosario dawson hey you got ahsoka tano in there uh dan levy jamie lee curtis and uh jared leto like murphy's 2003 film the new haunted mansion uh it's about a family navigating through a haunted house However, that's where the similarities between the two movies end. Wow. The 2003 version is uh, an overworking realtor, sorry, followed an overworking realtor who brought his family to the mansion in order to book a job, but was soon forced to unravel a supernatural mystery while learning, turbo leaning, sorry, while learning an important lesson about the family. Sorry, running on a bit of uh, lack of sleep. Was it up a bit too late? So, my bad. But yeah, I mean, it's just not good whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, continuing on, the new haunted mansion focuses on a single mother along with her two, along with her son, uh, moves into the haunted mansion and attempts to exercise the ghost uh, from inhibiting it. Uh, she does so by hiring a tour guide, a psychic priest, and a historian to help her. Uh, the group of characters creating a uh, plenty of roles for various Hollywood stars appearing in the film. Just, just stuff that doesn't, doesn't really need to be in there. But essentially, the point is, is that it's corny. You know, it's it's basically just another remake of a remake of. of just, I mean, pretty much what Disney does now is just remakes and, and sequels and everything else because they're pretty much devoid of any creativity whatsoever. That's the new state that woke SJW Disney has got themselves into, and you wonder why they're failing at the box office. There's a number of factors, and this is just one of them. You know, endless remakes, because really Hollywood in general, Hollywood, you know, Jesuit Illuminati ran Hollywood, is devoid of any actual creativity whatsoever. And it's just another testament to that. Woke SJW Disney fails to learn you go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. So, when the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, goodbye. Thank you.